what's going on guys it's shane we are back here again with another video today we're going to be checking out the og upstate new york uh, the official name is called upstate region new york uh, owned by a regional bus company um, this is apparently as i said the og upstate new york map uh, from when jim owned it um, now i was not around uh, when this was a thing uh, when I joined NBC, Jimbo was the owner, and the map had looked completely updated. So uh, here's a look at the spawner. As far as I know, they only have Visions and CEs. Uh, now they are updated buses. The only thing different with this whole game uh, is that there are newer buses. Um, and there are a few newer buildings, which we'll get into, uh, that I built myself um, a long time ago, actually. Uh, Jim had hit me up. Uh, and I built him some buildings. I had no clue they were coming in this game. Um, so what do we want to drive? Um, I think you guys want to see me drive a vision. So we're going to drive a vision spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this map off real quick because it is in the way. Um, go ahead and close that. So it kind of directs you to your bus, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, I don't know if this is like thing that he's going to be taking serious um it is under regional bus company uh, i don't know if that's like an official group of his because uh, you know i haven't seen him play roblox and or kind of do anything on roblox in quite some time as far as i know but then again i don't really know the guy but uh let's go ahead and take this uh empty bus sign off so here is the Bluebird Vision. I don't know what year this is. It told me what year it was, wasn't it? Um, 2015. So it is an older one. But it is a lot nicer than the stock Gen X ones we have. So. Go ahead and hold on. It's not starting for some reason. Do we have to put like a key in? Yep. Gotta put the key in. Make sure you guys do that. Okay. And what's cool about this is you actually have to build PSI, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it won't let you take off unless you kind of sit there and wait for a second. So low air pressure. I think we have to get it up to about 50. That's the desired. Um, that's pretty cool. The, uh, um, tachometer and the speedometer kind of light up green if i have another voice crack i swear to god um so i did try to record this video yesterday uh on super bowl sunday but i didn't like the way it came out so this is going to be uploaded on monday the day after the super bowl uh which i am very proud of my chiefs uh not my chiefs they're not really my team but i wanted them to win uh, let's go ahead and showcase the reds here. Um, I did want them to win, and they came out on top in overtime. That was an amazing game. Brock Purdy never had a chance. I'm just kidding. He did really well. This whole season, he's been doing really good. Um, so let's go ahead and get on with our little... We're going to be doing a route. We're going to be just doing kind of a tour of the map since I've never seen it before. Actually, actually, sorry, that's a lie. I have seen it before because I have access to all the studios and under the NBC group. Uh, so I've seen uh, all the older versions of the map. So, uh, But it's going to be my first time playing on it, really. Um, I know Jim had uh, a previous game. It was like a nostalgia edition that he would uh, unlocked from time to time. Um, that's kind of why I asked that this is going to be like an official thing. Is he going to keep this up or what? I have no insider on what's going on because I'm no longer an ownership member at NBC. Uh, I don't know if Jimbo is cool with this. Uh, I guess I, I really don't know. I really don't know. What did I say? I said we're not doing a route. Why am I stopping? Stopping for looks. We're just taking a tour. 
if you guys do want me to do an actual route on this um, let me know down below because I definitely would do it there's the drive-in over there I do remember seeing that that's the uh, infamous roundabout I would think there'd be a Christmas tree there but eh, it is after Christmas so there's the church, the Home Depot, the McDonald's. So it, it's it's the older version for sure. It's pretty cool getting to play on this now. As far as map-wise go, I like I said, I don't know if he made any changes. I know he made some additions. Uh, you're about to see them here soon. But uh, like as far as, you know, road structure goes or anything else like that I don't know if he changed anything because like I said I never played this uh, before uh, so this house here on our left I built uh, I don't know what he turned it into but I built that for him about a year ago and some months uh, I had no idea what he was planning on doing with it but he finally did something with it which is pretty cool um, I'm kind of tore up that I'm not in the credits uh, I checked the credits and uh, my name's not in there um, <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. I'm not going to trip about it. So that's just one of three buildings that I built. We're going to see the other two. We are going to see the other two. So it's kind of weird not seeing a farm here. So weird. Go back on the interior here. I don't know if this is a Huxley bus. No, I think it's a Gen X. If I don't know and I really don't care because it looks pretty good regardless so I know the seatbelt Huxley uses those aren't on the stock Gen X buses same with this uh, speedometer dash thing So we got two new buildings over here on the right you're about to see. One of them I see is probably my best build that I've ever built, which is funny because when I had first built that, uh, it, I wasn't that good of a builder at the time, but you'll see it here in a second. So this plaza right here, uh, that's not one of them, but it is a building that I did build. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we'll pull in here. Yeah, I remember building that. He didn't put any names on it or anything. I put like a, I did like a custom AC unit out of just like parts. Not the best looking, but at the time it was. Um, here's my gas station, Stewart's, uh, based off of a real gas station in upstate New York, I believe. Uh, gas pumps. Yep. Yep one of my favorite builds I've ever built uh, the roof is not the best looking because at the time wedges weren't a thing um, or not wedges but the corner pieces that they have now it wasn't a thing so let me go ahead and get a screenshot here that's perfect nice very nice I don't know what that is over there Let's go over there. I don't know what that is. I see an ice cream parlor. What do we got here? Diner and restaurant. Cool. So for some of you OGs, let me know if these two buildings were in the older version. Because I don't recognize them. John's Dairy Bar and Grow. That's a nice build. I like that. It looks really cool. Small, simplistic. Very, very cool. Can we go? Uh, I guess we'll just back up all the way here. Okay. Not bad. And then I believe this is the elementary school. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, yep, elementary. So, 
this is pretty cool. Not a bad building. I don't know if that's original. Some of you guys can let me know down below. I don't remember it looking like that from some of the videos that I've seen on YouTube. Maybe it was, I have no idea. I thought the old elementary school looked like the current MS, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. There's something like invisible right there that kind of just stops your bus. Um, go down this way. You got the uh, United States Postal Service building there. Do remember that from some of the videos that I've seen. We'll go this way. The high school's over here. I remember these train tracks. They are so messed up. They're horrible. They were horribly placed. Look at this. I remember going through when we were working on the revamp for 2010 Upstate, 2010 edition. Uh, it kind of used the same track layout. I had to go through and fix them all because those are horribly placed. Um, but it is what it is. If I was Jim, actually, no, I wouldn't do that. I was going to say I would kind of build off of this, but if you want to keep it completely nostalgia, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even touch it. Uh, here's the old high school. Very, very simplistic. <laughs> it's just a bunch of, you can tell it's copy and pasted just a bunch of different, uh, levels, but it still looks good from a distance. The reflectance used on the windows there. Very nice. I almost want to take a screenshot here. I'll take one here. Just in case. There's the football field. And then there's this like parking lot I was never a fan of. I remember that. I don't like that. It looks weird. But yeah. And then obviously you got the middle school over there back in its original spot. Uh, we'll go over there and then we'll wrap up the review. It just looks so weird not seeing the whole updated map. The road down there ends, so no point in going down there. I think it ends. Yeah, it looks like it ends. The needles aren't properly placed. They look a bit out of shape. I don't know if these buses are new or not. They're de definitely different. I don't know if they've been updated or what. We'll make a right right here. I remember this. This whole ledge people used to get stuck on. Because it's not... Oh god. Knock on wood. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I thought I was gonna fall right off of it. So, we're used to the ES being right there. But I do remember once upon a time it was in this area. And it still is in Carson. Carson, Michigan. I don't know whose idea it was to kind of move it. I actually don't know who that who did that. I have no idea who wanted to move it. Let's see if we can get over there. Okay, somebody else is in the game. Okay. So it's a one way. We got to go left. But as far as the middle school goes for the current upstate New York, we haven't really changed anything to it. It's still the stock middle school. 
Uh, except for the parking lot, of course. Man. Not bad. And then I remember this. This little kind of alleyway shortcut thing here. And then we'll just drive back into the lot. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I don't know how long he's been working on this or what kind of inspired him to kind of open this little game slash company, but pretty cool. It's picked up a lot of traction recently in the last two days. Let's go turn that off. Dude, do we have to like turn sideways to get back here? Okay. All right, well, I think you can open the hood too. No, maybe not. Well, that was our little review on Upstate Region, New York. Um, if you guys want me to do an actual route, let me know. If you guys do wish to play the game yourself, we'll be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.